hello you guys and welcome back to my channel today we are working on the master bedroom i am so excited for this makeover and i honestly didn't even change that many things it's just wild how much a couple coats of paint can totally change an entire space this project only cost me $250 roughly to complete the whole room and it looks completely different than when I started you guys and I honestly didn't change that much but I'm so excited with how this turned out so let's go ahead and jump right on in to this bedroom makeover. The first thing that I'm going to do is just give you guys a quick overview of what my room looked like before when we bought our house about a year ago. The whole house it, um, was painted this color. I don't know the color of it, but it's like a beige color. And although it is a nice neutral color, um, we are more of a fan of the grays and the cool tones for wall colors. So that's what we're gonna do today. My favorite paint for walls of all time is Repost Gray by Sherwin-Williams. So we are gonna be doing that and we're also going to be doing Bare Cracked Pepper which I will show you guys. But right now I am just clearing everything out and showing you guys how dusty it was behind my bed. So gross, but I'm gonna vacuum all of that up because this is the wall that I'm gonna be working on first, which is gonna be the accent wall. So I need to get everything cleared away from this space first and get these blinds taken down because I'm actually not gonna be putting them back up. So I'm gonna take those down and patch the holes so that way I can paint the whole windowsill. And now I'm gonna take these screws out of the wall that were holding up a sign above my bed and I'm gonna use this fast and final nail hole and crack filler to fill those holes. And I'm also gonna use the same stuff to fill the holes where the blinds were up as well. Next, I'm gonna take the light switch cover and the outlet covers off of the wall that I'm gonna be working on first. And now it's time to show you guys my supplies. So I picked up these roller um, brushes. These are the ones that I always use. And then also I like to get new paint brushes every time I do a project and I always get a nice angled brush to cut in so that I don't have to tape off some paint pans. And then this is the Cracked Pepper color, which is by Bear from Home Depot. And I got the semi-gloss in the paint and primer in one. And then I got the same for the other three walls, the same type of paint, but I had them mix the Sherwin-Williams Repost Gray color. And so those are the colors we're gonna be using. And now I'm gonna take this little sanding block and I'm just gonna go over the spots that I patched up just so that way um, you won't be able to tell that I patched anything up when I do start painting. Destiny, we already know just what we feel. Just take my hand, I'll be all you need. And now for the fun part, we get to start painting. So this is the super dark gray color that I'm gonna be doing on the accent wall called Cracked Pepper. This was a super highly recommended color a while back, like months and months ago, I actually asked on Instagram for suggestions for a very dark, almost black, kind of blue, gray. <laughs> and so many of you guys suggested this. So we are absolutely in love with it. So thank you to those of you that suggested this color. But I'm gonna start out by cutting in all of the edges with my paintbrush and getting all of that done first. This is actually my least favorite part of painting just because it is so time consuming and these videos are obviously sped up super duper fast, but this is a process that has to be done very, very slowly so you don't screw anything up, especially when, like me, I don't like taping everything off before I do a painting project. I just make sure that I have a very good paintbrush and I take my time. And you don't have too much paint on the brush and 
all of that. It takes lots of practice, but like I've mentioned in my other painting videos in the past, I have painted so many rooms in the last few years <laughs> that uh, this is just the way that works best for me. So let's get to work cutting in all the edges. Now for the part that I love the best. We are gonna start rolling on the paint. So I started off just using my roller brush without the long handle on it. I was just gonna move my ladder because that's what I normally do, but I decided pretty much like shortly after this, you guys will see, I put the longer pole on my paintbrush and that works a lot better than moving your ladder around and having to get it, climb up and down, up and down to get more paint um, and to reach all the way to the top. But I sometimes don't like it because you can only use it like halfway down the wall. <laughs> I don't know. It just is a preference thing, I guess. But as you can see, I put the long pole on there. I did the top half of the wall and then I go back through without it to do with the bottom half. All right, the first coat is done, and then now we are gonna switch to the next day, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the second coat put on the accent wall, and you guys will see here in a minute. Um, this was actually on a Saturday morning, and Donnie just got back home from hunting all morning, so he came in, he was super tired, and he climbed in bed, and he was watching Longmire on Netflix. We were just having a chill day and I was working on this project. So you guys will see him laying in bed <laughs> watching a movie. He's like, geez, everyone's gonna think I'm just worthless and not helping you. But this is my project and he was out hunting for his family all morning. So he's relaxing and I am working on our bedroom. Sing, sing, sing 
once I got all of the rolling done on the second coat for that wall, I'm just going through and touching up any of the edging spots that need to be touched up with a second coat of paint. So the accent wall is officially done being painted. So while that is drying, I'm gonna get started on the other walls. So I'm taking down the curtains on this wall. I purchased a new curtain rod, which I'm gonna show you guys here in a bit. But I'm taking that down and I'm patching the holes, taking off the plate covers and all of that stuff so we can get ready to start painting the other three walls. And now just like the accent wall, I'm taking my sanding block and sanding over all of the spots that I patched up with that nail hole and crack filler. And now I'm opening up my gallon of repost gray and I'm gonna pour that into my paint cup and we're gonna get started edging all of the walls for the last three walls that I have to paint. So paint can be a little bit tricky sometimes and I've learned that you never really know if you're going to have to do two coats or one coat. So I like to buy the amount of paint that I think I'm going to need and then if I need more to do a second coat I go get more. Like with the accent wall I only bought one quart of paint because I thought maybe since it was so dark that I would only have to do one coat but it ended up needing to do two coats so I went back and I bought a second quart. But I don't know. I. After my painting mishap with the living area, when I bought five gallons of paint and it ended up being a color that I didn't like uh, and they wouldn't take it back for whatever reason, I decided that I would rather run out of paint and have to go get more than have way too much and like not like it or something. So hopefully that makes sense. But um, anyways, where I was going with that is I had to do two coats of that cracked pepper, the dark paint. Um, because it was I don't know if it was just like wasn't super thick or what or just because of the color and it's like a little bit different with dark paint but with the repost gray I only had to do one coat because there was no spots that looked patchy or anything like that so that was super nice and one gallon was perfect for these three walls I did not even use all of it I still have a little bit left for touch-ups or another project because I am going to be doing my bathroom and the kids bathroom here probably pretty soon so at least I have a little bit of paint left over and I can use it for another project too but anyways we're just going to continue on with all of this edging there is so much edging but then the rolling it goes pretty fast Don't you worry about a thing you get what you're giving 
But it's never too late to spread your wings. All right, the edging is finally done, so now we can get to the fun part. I've got my roller brush, and we're gonna roll all these walls with the repost gray now. All right, you guys, I just wrapped up painting. So I've got to wait for this light gray, repost gray to dry. You can see it looks like two different colors because it dries like that. But when it's still wet, it's like that. So we've got to wait for that to dry. But I want to show you guys a couple of things I picked up um, for our room. So these are the curtains that I got from Target. They're the white 99.9% .9 blackout curtains. Um, threshold brand. So I got 84 inch for the slider because I just don't like when, I don't know, I know it's like you're supposed to hang curtains like super high, but I just don't like when there's a big gap between the top of the window and like the curtain rod. So I'm just going to do it normal. And then I have a sign that I'm going to hang up there kind of like out in the living room. I have a sign above our slider. So I'm going to do that in here also. Um, so I got 84 inch curtains for the slider and then I got the, let's see. So I got two of those and then I got the 95 inch, same ones, just in longer for these windows here because the windows are up higher than the slime glass door. So I'm just doing these curtain rods. Typically I always buy like oil rubbed bronze or black for curtain rods, but all of our hardware in our house is um, nickel. So I wanted that, like the curtain rods to match all of that, you know? Um, so I'm gonna do those. These are also from Target. I'll link all the stuff that I can for you guys, but they're just pretty basic. And I'm, I'm trying to decide still if I'm gonna do clips, like ring clips, because I have a whole ton of ring clips that I'm, I could do, but these have like the pocket on the back. So I don't know. I need to I need to decide how the look that I want for that. So I'm still thinking about that. But these are the curtains. And then I swung by Hobby Lobby and I got some picture frames to go on our nightstands. I'm going to get some pictures for those. And then I got these from Hobby Lobby. It came in a set. Um, and I'm going to do these above our bed there. And then this one I also got at Hobby Lobby. It's like glass and just has that print in there um, you are home to me and that one is gonna go over here curtains sign uh, white dresser my long dresser mirror um, mirror here and then I don't know about this spot right here I'm gonna see if I have something already that I could put there but 
that's about it. So I'm going to get back to work. Oh, and I just got one panel for these windows because I thought two would be, just be like too much. Um, and one panel will cover the whole window. So I'll just like, you know, push them to the side like this. And I'm not putting our blinds back up. I just want it to be like super clean looking. So that, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to wait for this paint to dry and get back to work. Also, I'm sure you guys noticed, I've been watching Laguna Beach this entire time. It's on the MTV app. <laughs> Taking me back to high school. So now we are gonna get the two framed signs put up above the bed and I'm gonna work on hanging up the curtains. And I definitely recommend using a stud finder and a level whenever you are hanging something like this because it's, I mean, it's kind of tricky, but I have finally figured out how to do it without asking for help from my husband. But if you don't have any studs available where you're trying to hang something, um, you can get some anchors and those are actually really easy to put in yourself as well, which I just recently found out on my own. So don't be afraid to use power tools and don't be afraid to try something on your own because you can probably do it yourself, I promise. Alrighty, I'm gonna get this last sign picture frame hung up over here by the window and the slider and then I'm gonna give you guys some little before and after shots of our room. We are so happy with how it turned out. I'm so glad that I finally painted this room after a year of living here. We are just in love, you guys. The dark wall just totally changed everything. And before I painted this room, I almost wanted to get a different bed because I didn't love my headboard. And now I love it because I think it looks so good contrasted against this dark gray wall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Like I said, we are just so happy with how it turned out. And all I changed was the paint, the curtains, and a couple of signs. And it just totally changed the whole vibe of the whole room and we're so happy with it. So thank you guys again. Be sure to subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.